and then lockdown happened and everyone has to prosper, right? There's winners and losers. There's winners and losers. It's the reality of a uh, of an office, of an entrepreneur. You don't have the fancy class office that everyone wants. So this is my workspace right now. You know, some of the most popular people on YouTube started with two, five, 20 views. Dispersible painkiller and little bit in isolation. I don't know what I would do. I get very bored very easily. You know, that's what a creator does. That's what an entrepreneur does. They see the opportunity and they go, look, I've got a client, I've got a, you know, a good story, a good podcast here. Can I use your um, studio to, to record something? So it was a win-win. And then, well, anyway. I find the passion. If I'm not passionate about it, I won't do it. Uh, and that's a, that was a lesson I learned from back in the day where I used to be involved in sales. Like I can't sell something that I don't believe in. And I can't fundamentally, I just can't 100%. do something I'm, I'm, I'm not 100%. passionate about. So, <sighs> As I was about to say, I haven't done a proper video like this in a while because I've just been um, uploading shorts for the last few weeks and months because it's, it's quite good. Um, you know, if anyone doesn't know at the moment, you can literally, um, you know, you can increase your subscribers and reach and uh, business outlook by, you can almost double it. You can, I mean, that's a conversation for a different time. This is not what this video is about. You know, if you've clicked on the title, we're gonna go into it and we're gonna do a proper, we're gonna do a proper vlog. We're gonna do a proper talk, but, um, yeah, the reason why I probably haven't is because you get sucked into um, you get sucked into stuff like that. I think it was International Women's Day yesterday, and um, let me just pause this. I got some music going on in the background. <laughs> Check this out. I got the, uh, I can't, I can't switch, switch it around. I don't know if you can see that. I got a Project X soundtrack. If anyone's seen that movie, it's a, it's a good movie. I feel old listening to it because it came out in 2012. So it's over 10 years old now. But yeah, so it was International Women's Day um, yesterday or the day before and I I'm not one to hop on these trends and stuff but I put a post with a entrepreneur that I interviewed back in 2019 and she's done very well for herself she's very successful she's now going into politics and she is a member of the Conservative Party and she's pursuing that route and she's very you know Sarah Chowdy, you can look at the podcast on my channel. She's she's very successful. She's you know, she's she's very happy. She's she's amazing. Um, shout out to Sarah. So, um, but it made me think back, and I have a bit of a reality check that a lot of people don't understand when they pursue this route, and this is why I think a lot of people get burn out, get unhappy, um, have trouble with mindset, have trouble with mental health, all that kind of thing. It's because if you decide to do this kind of lifestyle or passion project or startup or whatever you want to call it, you have to A, be 100% self-aware of what you're going to do before you do it what route you're going to take and um, and what your ambition is and you know there's three things there you could have a list of hundreds but you have to understand that not everyone is a number one she's a number one you know Matt King another guy I interviewed he's a number one 
I've interviewed founders and CEOs, you know, like the podcasts that are all popular now, they're all founders and CEOs. And this is why it's not really working because everyone thinks they're gonna be a founder and a CEO. They're not. If you're a creator, this is why I think the industry is struggling. If you're a creator, you create. I create, but I know I'm not a, you know, a number one. Now, looking back on that day when I met Sarah, I had contacted a podcast company that had just started up, Podcast Labs. Now, I've done two, three, a couple videos with them. They're on my YouTube channel. But if you look them up now, they're probably one of the most successful podcast agencies, not only in Dorset, but also around. And um, I actually did the video or a couple of the podcasts for free because obviously they needed the exposure. And that was, you know, that's what a creator does. That's what an entrepreneur does. They see the opportunity and they go, look, I've got a client, I've got a, you know, a good story, a good podcast here. Can I use your um, studio to, to record something? So it was a win-win back in the day. Um, whereas now, both Sarah is doing really well and the podcast lab's doing really well. Can you say the same for myself? Yes from a certain perspective. But this is my point. You have to be okay with, I don't live in a mansion, I don't drive a Lamborghini, I don't go to, you know, Dubai for holidays every year. But I created and published that podcast and I filmed it and now whenever they look up Podcast Labs or Sarah, they see me. So, it's a perspective angle. And I'm not, I'm not making this video to talk about me, I'm making this video to raise awareness for other creators out there who struggle and struggle with um, motivation and mindset because not everyone is top dog. Not everyone is number one. And you have to be okay with just going, look, I'm gonna create content because if you, you know, there was a really good uh, clip of, um, who's the actor of Transformers? I forgot his name now, I can't. I can't fucking remember his name. It's been that long since the Transformers movie, is that I can't remember his name. Here we go. There's... Shia LaBeouf, there we go. That's a good thing about having your computer handy. So he was, he was doing some kind of podcast and I, I shared it on my Instagram. So it's on my Instagram if you want to go and look at it. But he's a real recluse now. He doesn't really do much acting or um, uh, publicity other than the odd podcast. And I think he volunteers with a theater and stuff like that. So what he said in his clip was exactly what I'm trying to get across in this video. Find something you're passionate about. Find something you're good at. And if you enjoy it, and if you are good at it, and if you enjoy doing it, like I enjoy making videos, I enjoy creating content, then you will be able to do that for the rest of your life. Now, you know, the point I was making about success and perspective is that everyone thinks they're gonna be number one and top dog and have the cars, the house, the office, you know, all of that fame that comes with it. It's not gonna happen because those first couple of years, I started in 2019. I've done more than most people, I've done more than I would expect when I created Alexander Consulting. You know, some people create or think of an idea and they don't even get past, some people have an Instagram account with just four posts 
and you know they never do anything so I've got I spend a lot of time interacting with people on social media because that's my job some people have a large following because they're popular but they never use it they never actually use social media and this is what I mean about being a creator if you create content use it that's what the platforms are there for but some people will be less popular and they don't have the following and especially nowadays with the um, the cancel culture stuff it's very difficult so you can be brilliantly creative and you can be incredibly passionate about what you do but you might never get noticed so passion is probably one of the number one things going into the rest of this year if you enjoy it that's the first thing to tick off the list the second thing is probably you know worrying about the content and and then you you really shouldn't be worrying about the success and the perspective and, and what other people think until you're actually getting people's attention. And that's way down the line. Because you should be focusing on yourself and the actual making whatever it is. I mean, if you're making fucking art, fucking, if you're, if you're a baker, if you're, or if you're just making posts and NFTs on Instagram, or if you're a gamer, I mean, gaming is the biggest industry in the world right now. If you're just gaming every day and posting it online, who, do, who cares about that? Loads of people, millions of people, million, millions of people watch that every day. So, you know, I, I was gonna put the video about lack of motivation but I don't really think that is because I've been talking for 11 minutes now and the thing that people really liked especially during lockdowns were videos like this um, and you know if I, sh if I showed you my subscriber rate it it's like this it goes up and down up and down up and down and you can sit as a creator you can sit all day and you can look at the numbers and the analytics and you can worry about it and you can get stressed about it and I've got more bags under my eyes and more lines on my face over the last couple of years since I've started doing this and working in this industry because it's hard it's stressful but you know you get a reality check like the other day as I started this video talking about when I have I've done something I've made stuff you know and I can look back happily if all of this goes away and go well there's millions and thousands of people in this country and everywhere who have no motivation and ambition at all who just who haven't done any of that and don't care so i think you know find something you're good at find something you enjoy and if it makes you happy and if you know, some of the most popular people on YouTube started with two, five, 20 views. So this is why people are getting upset and there's a lot of depression in the world. It's because they're focusing too much on making people happy. You know, if you're okay with that and if you're making it because you enjoy making it, and if you are making short films, because when you, when I make a film and when I make a video on my laptop here and it all comes together and the process is really, really neat, or when I make a, you know, an edit or when I do some photography stuff, that makes me feel good because I look at it and then I then go, that's fucking cool. Worrying about numbers and subscribers and followers that doesn't make me feel good so I 
think it's pretty simple, isn't it, guys? You know how to how to be the happy how to be a happy content creator. You know, I've said it. I'm going to say it twice, and I'm going to say it again. Find something you're good at. Find something you enjoy, and start there. You know, worry about all the rest later on. Um, and I'm going to leave it there. You know, it's been 15, 14, 15 minutes now. So, peace out. Have a good Thursday evening. And uh, don't forget, be nice, be kind. And if you are watching this, and if you have stayed to the end, like and subscribe and share amongst all your friends because this is something that has bothered me for a while. We don't seem to actually use social media for what it's supposed to be used for. So share it, like it, connect with people. I mean, if, if, if somebody sends a friend request on Facebook nowadays, someone that's goes into a panic attack. You know, people actually, I think people are scared of social media now. Be social, you know, connect with people. It, it, it's, it's what it's there for. People are so paranoid about connecting and commenting and liking and, and being and sharing positivity on social media. It's, it's almost like it's a, a word or a thing that's not supposed to be done or used but I think it's it should still be done so go do it <laughs>